we have a rod ab and end b starts experiencing a constant force f so the constant force f is same in its magnitude and direction and it's applied to the point b find the angular velocity of the rod as a function of of its rotating angle phi so initially the rod is like this and when it turns by an angle phi we need to find what will be the angular velocity then so we are going to solve it with three different methods all three are different and interesting first is by work so we can see that the because we need to find the angular velocity of the rod we can express uh, the energy of the rod in terms of angular velocity and the external work done on this rod is f times distance traveled by the point b so that's what we will do so work is r dot f is equal to change in kinetic energy which is half i omega square we need to find omega r is displacement of point of application of force so in our case it is point b so how much this point b has moved in the direction of uh, force that is l sin phi so this becomes f into l sin phi is equal to half i omega square i is ml square by 3 this gives omega is equal to this second we can do it by the calculation of alpha and then omega so alpha is given by torque is equal to i alpha so at any given point when the, it has deviated by an angle phi the torque is f cos phi into distance l so f cos phi into l is equal to i ml square by 3 times alpha so we need alpha in terms of phi sorry in the answer we need uh, omega in terms of phi so we will write uh, alpha as omega d omega by d phi we'll take d phi there and integrate both sides so phi goes from 0 to phi omega goes from 0 to omega and we'll get the same answer third is the again we'll, we are going to use the work but uh, the small amount of work and then we'll integrate it so a small of amount of work because of a torque is tau theta is equal to small change in kinetic energy so tau d theta so tau is again f cos phi into l so f l cos phi d phi is equal to dke where kinetic energy goes from 0 to half i omega square so again if you solve that you are going to get the same answer so all three extremely good methods all right